What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Child of Light. Challenging little game. I mean, it does help that we put it on hard, but the game has definitely ramped up the difficulty lately and I think that... I don't know. I think that I've been having fun with it. So anyways, let's continue forward. In the previous episode, we had to go down into this guy's very liberally named basement. I mean, this seems like much... I don't know. I would call this more of like a subterranean Mordor or something along those lines. Like, would you clear out my Mordor would be the way that I would put it, but... This veritable mountain doom that he has hiding in his basement. God, I'd hate to see where he keeps all of his scrapbooks. It's just like, really? Like, why do you need this much storage space? Why was this necessary? Let's go ahead and blind him, and then we'll jump into this fight. And hopefully it will go quickly and easily. The last few have been a little bit nasty, but oh, good. Okay, so this one isn't quite so bad. I'm going to have Nora is the first one. I'm sorry, Aurora's up first. Let's go ahead, and I think I'm going to have her go straight for the jugular with the big guy in the back. I would rather get rid of him versus this one over here, so... Uh, that's kind of insulting to be called this one over here, isn't it? Oh well, little stony guy, he's this one over here from now on. I'm gonna go for a Petrify right there, which we did manage to get off, which is actually really, really cool. I don't ever expect Petrify to go off, but when it does work, I am uber stoked about it. Right here, I'm gonna swap her out for Finn. Namely because I need to heal Finn, so that's the first part of the story right there, and also because he's got Monsoon. And then we'll have her... Jump in on Stony Guy right here to see if maybe we can get a Petrify on him too. No, no such luck. Ah, well, the best laid plans and all that. And so the damage is done, 112 right there. He's still not in slouchy mode. So until his posture decides to take the day off, we aren't completely positive that we got him defeated. I'm not po- Ooh, okay, so this is another one of those situations where he's halfway across, do I risk it? I think... Let's go for it. Balls to the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Interrupted, punk. That's what happens. Oh, yeah, he has counter blow. Well, balls. That was kind of a pointless initiative then. Let's go ahead and throw another monsoon on him. I'm going to do my best to slow him down. I'm beginning to think that you do only get to counter if you're inside of your cast zone, so it basically just ensures a guaranteed attack. Oh, oh she dodged him. Even better. Okay. No Petrify right there, so we are going to get stuck with a little bit of damage. Let me get some heals off on Nora right now. Nora is actually one of my favorite characters so far. I wonder where she got her sword from, though. Like, do you compare sword stories? Let's say that you have, you and your friend, you get swords from alternate locations. Do you trade those stories, like war stories, like where you got your sword, or you just kind of, like, let it go and just assume that they got it from somewhere legitimate? I don't know. We're going to put people on defense mode because I had a feeling something like that was going to happen. He hadn't unleashed his AoE as of yet. I think that he might be able to get an interrupt off in time, but I would rather, if I'm going to try and do that, I'd rather put in Rubella, because I know that she can go quickly and interrupt people, so we'll try. Whoo, very, very close. And there was also the possibility of a dodge a lot of the time, so you got to watch out for that as well. Let's go ahead and get some free BHPs off right here. And another Petrify has gone off, which has guaranteed us that we won't be eating any more AoEs. Pretty sure we're going to be able to kill this guy before we finish off the fight, so... He took a turn to make himself more defensible. Let's go ahead and unload damage on this guy. And there he goes. He's now down 40 damage away. He's dead. We're going to put a little bit of Petrify damage on the Granite. Unfortunately, Granite, quite quite resilient. Quite resilient. You got a lot of Plagioclase in there. Got yourself, you know, a little bit of Quartz. A little bit of Quartz just to harden the whole thing around. I mean, every now and again you get a bit of Biotite or something like that, but the Biotite's a little bit squishier than everything else. I love playing with Biotite, although people that are frequenters at the... I suppose frequent patrons would be the better way to put it. The Nerdcastle will know what my favorite element slash raw mineral is. Raw whatever. I mean, they will know, and they will put it down in the comments below, because... I don't know. Maybe they care that much. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Let's go ahead and just finish this guy off. I... There we go. And so now that the battle has been concluded, we've earned ourselves a couple of levels up. Hopefully somebody else is level two. I can't tell. I keep thinking she has antennae, like a weird, like, ant lady or something. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal or, like, other people keep seeing that, but I keep seeing that. Every time I look at her, I'm like, she's an ant lady. Hooray! Hooray for insectoids. All the entomologists in the crowd are like, huzzah! Yay for us! Everybody loves bugs, kind of. I'm not even going to bother with the little flicky switch right there on this one. I'm just going to run underneath all these. We'll get our free MPs right there. 
We want to make sure that there's no secrets along this left-hand side either. If indeed there are, I want their treasures. I will say secrets from me, the treasures you cannot hide. Please return them to my side. And if I wanted to keep with the motif of like rhyming everything in the game. Did I flick that switch already? I don't think that I did. Ah. So that makes everything... Oh, it's timed. Well, that makes an otherwise boring puzzle a bit more interesting. Okay, so we want to be airborne for this for sure. I always get nervous when I have Indiana Jones situations like that, like the door's gonna crush me, or otherwise do something terrible to my tiny female frame. I mean, I'm like an eight-year-old. Come on, you don't need to crush me. Ah, oh, damn it. They got me again. This will be a route. Yay, yeah, it's gonna sting. But luckily, they didn't give him a surprise attack. If they'd given him a surprise attack, I'd be like, nope. Absolutely not. In this situation, I am inclined to think that there's probably a better plan for something that I can do right now. We've got Lull. We've got Quicken. I think I will go for a Quicken, and we'll just see what happens. I don't know if we're going to get it off or not. It's got a really, really long cast time, so that's something I may not have thought about completely, but I suppose we should also think about he's squishy, though. Eh, we'll put him in for now and we'll drop a monsoon on him we need to start working this guy just because that AoE that he has is just it's bad it's a pretty terrible AoE it hurts a lot that's gonna reset him which means I just need Nora to get her attack off and so now we've got the amazing haste ability that all of our enemies like to deploy on us he's decided to use his turn guaranteeing that he's gonna have a bit more defense we took an AoE right there damn so much AoE in this group, so we're going to get eaten by the AoE there, and he's also got an AoE. So that's two major, major problems that we've got to deal with. Unfortunately, we're going to be trapped into a circle of defending again. Luckily, I mean, it still does a lot of damage, even if you're armored. I hate to say it, but it's still, it really, really hurts. I'm going to get some heals off right here, so maybe do like 40 HP on her. And then maybe put like a good 50 on Flynn, just to guarantee that... He doesn't die in a blaze of glory here. At which point we'll deploy the monsoon. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. Okay, so we got a dodge off right there. Good luck was on our side, which is rare. Usually it's bad luck that seems to be just like, yo, I'm on your team. Like when you've got the whole dodgeball thing going on, bad luck is standing there on the side just like, ooh, 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 pick me. And that's exactly how it goes down every time for me. I don't know why. Back to the circle of defending. And then we will go for a, no, not a wildfire. We'll go for a monsoon right there, although I should swap him out. Meh, let's live on the edge for a little bit. We've got haste and we're not afraid to use it. So we didn't manage to get a... I really dislike the fact that those are uninterruptible. It bothers me. We want to make sure that they don't get a turn before I can swap other people in. Is really what I'm kind of focusing on right now. Not a lot of potions to go around at the moment. I mean, we've got a couple, so I guess I'll throw one out right there. And then we're going to swap out Flynn for... Presumably Rubella, who will then... I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, you get counter blood every time you do this. Maybe go with Aurora then. Instead, go for a... I don't know if a Starlight All is worth the effort that it would take to put it in. I'm just going to go for the Slash, whatever. It'll probably work out okay, maybe. Kind of, slightly. He's still going to get the counterattack with 61 through resist, which is just like, holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Especially through a resist, it's like, damn. 
Makes you wonder what would happen if you simply did not equip anything. He's got to go. For sure. Simultaneously, however, we need to get a heal off on Aurora, who is playing squishy mode right now and got focused down super hard last turn. Let's slow him and let's guarantee that Aurora gets a little bit of health. There we go. So it's looking... Well, I mean, we're still in bad shape, but... I want to guarantee he doesn't get his ability off first. There we go. And so having gotten rid of the fiery guy, we should be in a better... A much better harbor right now, I suppose. A better cave of safety. Although, as far as safety ratings go, I don't feel like this one's going to be five star. This cave, its safety rating has got to be just awful. This thing is terrifying. I'm a geologist, and if I wandered into this cave, I'd be like, Welp, I'm going to leave that for someone else. Somebody else can be on the line for that one. Like, you ever watch those videos of those guys that are like... They're taking samples from volcanoes, and there's giant blobs of lava. Like, ten-foot blobs of lava just landing next to them. It's like, blap! And they don't even flinch. I'm like, nope. That thing right there could have flattened you, man. And you don't even seem nervous about this. You don't even seem nervous. Since they've got a counter coming in... I mean, it's almost... Every time I don't defend, I... Every time I defend, I regret it. And every time I don't defend, I regret it. I feel like I'm playing a game where they just kind of select randomly. It's like there is no right decision. It's just like, do you heal just in... Or I'm sorry, do you defend just in case? And then they don't attack the right person? Or... It's weird, because the enemy viciously goes for interrupts sometimes. And then other times, it doesn't go for them at all. Makes me wonder if there's some check. Like, the game actually doesn't actually decide what it's doing right here. But then again, I know that's not true because their casting speed changes right there. So maybe it's just me being a grumpy bastard and I should shut up about it. I think that's probably the case. You know, some guy out in the audience right now is like, Yeah, you should! Stop complaining! I don't like it. I think we're going to go for... Eh, we're just going to have to defend again. Yep, and it's a good thing because he uses AoE right there. And that would have been a massive setback for everybody. Okay, so we're finally back up at our turn. I'm actually going to have her use heal all. For her, we're going to get started with a Starlight on the Rock Guy. I'm going to try and slow him down if I can. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. That did a surprising amount of damage, too. Over 200 damage. He wasn't even, a, he wasn't even weak to light. It just hit that hard. Like, wow. All right. Sorry about that. Fraps crashed. But luckily, Fraps don't ever use Fraps, by the way. It hasn't been updated in, like, a decade. Every time I use Fraps, I regret it. It's just, use DX Tori or Bandicam or something, but it's very, very clear that Beepa does not care about their software. Like, they haven't updated it in so long. It's just like, well, the cash cow done been springing cash for long enough. Let's just abandon it. And so anyways, we're back here at the exact same combat we were in before. <laughs> Still using Fraps, just after I complained about it, in case you were wondering. I'm like, well, I don't have anything else set up right now, and I don't feel like, yeah, let's just finish the episode. It'll be okay. We'll splice it together, and it'll all look fine. So, we finished up the combat right there. That combat started out, I mean, those little fire guys, really, really nasty bastards. I mean, they're tough. They are tough. They definitely know how to throw the Daka. That's the last one. Let us have some fun to the Bulmus come. It's Bulmus. Let's speed our way through here because I don't like diagonals. They make me feel awkward. And then we'll grab our freebies. Treasure, a tumbled emerald. And then we'll open up this hatch to allow us back into the gentleman's basement I mean like I said this is a hell of a basement I feel like if he could really get this thing cleaned up and he could show it to the right real estate agent he could make a lot of money off this basement I mean this house's value just went up by quite a bit if you can clear this space and also make it you know structurally sound because caves are prone to these little things called collapses so you want to be careful about those don't be going into any random caves by the way like rocks I definitely don't set fires in caves like if you go camping don't go into a cave and then start like a campfire in the cave because it causes the rock to flex and that can be really, really bad for you. Unless you enjoy being human paste. If you enjoy being flattened, then hey, go for it. I don't know. I don't judge. I know that that's a thing on the internet that some people get off to, but... It's called crushing or something like that. I think I saw a Vice video on it. How goes the basement? Is it clean? Sir, indeed it is, but you told us a fib. We found it infested with dark creatures. My, my, how expensive. That didn't rhyme. Beforehand, we set the price, fortunately. We did? Did I sign a contract? No, you did not. Then, to quote my father's banker, Monsieur Mustache, that is a whole lot of rot. I see that you have business clout. Fine, I will see what I have lying about. 
It's probably just gonna pay us in gems. That seems to be most quests seem to end with us getting- Oh! Magic Stardust! Hello! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do ourselves some Magic Stardust, and we're gonna be floating for the rest of the night here in Rat Town. I think that... Let me go to my inventory. Let me see what consumables I have anyways. Okay, so I've got two of those. And I think, obviously, we want to drop those on our nuker. I mean, giving them to her is a pretty good idea, too, because she does a fair amount of nuking. They're actually pretty comparable. Let's go ahead and give it to her. We'll bring her up to the same level as Finn, because I do want to start using her star attack a little bit more. And then, after that point, we've got to decide what we want to do with some of these skill points. And so, with... Who are we looking at right now? Rubella. Okay, so with Rubella, I had branched off into a separate tree now to try and get to Tumble All. Don't know if we're going to get there, but we're definitely going to try. So her defense is now up. Finn has himself an upgrade. We're going for Rage of the Kapili. And so now that our Kapilis are raging, with those beards, why wouldn't you have Berserkers in your society? He's going to hit 20% harder. That's actually fairly incredible. Considering how hard he hits already, that's going to be a sizable damage increase for him. On this side, what we want to do is work our way towards, I don't know, we had Unstoppable. Unstoppable all might be nice. I think my plan here was to go for anything. I don't know. Petrify all is a really cool ability. I mean, that would be super, super rowdy. Let's go for Petrify All and see if we can land it. I've heard that AoEs are really, really powerful in this game. After that, let's see what we can craft here. Let's throw some of these Sapphires together. Throw those guys together. And we can combine these later on, so don't concern yourselves too much. Like, you can combine these at any tier with each other. So, you see right there, we can make a faceted Tourmaline out of it. I'm just getting them all condensed into the highest tier possible instead of combining them at the lowest level and then having to spend a whole bunch of time just moving things around. In case you were wondering, I am aware. Definitely privy to the fact that I could do that, so don't worry that don't 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 wear out your dentition. It'll be okay. I don't want your dentist to be angry at Splattercat. Dentists, they terrify me, and I don't want to give them any reason to use that pokey hooky thing any longer on my gums than they have to. Oh, that's the worst part when they go in with that hooky thing and they poke your gums and they're like, Does this hurt? And you're like, Yeah, clearly it hurts. I'm flinching every time you do it. Please stop that. They'd be like, You have gingivitis. I'm like, Yeah. Listerine lied. Listerine lied hard. I think I'm going to... Another tumbled ruby right there. I would rather have... Oh, our resistances actually aren't that great. It's only like 20%. Well, then I feel the fool for complaining about it. And so I will address it and I will be like, I am the fool! And I will just be like, I am complaining about things I shouldn't be complaining about. And so now, you guys will know that at least Splattercat is humble about these sorts of things. Is it... Is it humble to draw light to the fact that I don't think it is? So anyways, I try to show humility about these sorts of things. If I come across the fact that I am misinformed, I try to draw light to it later on and just be like, Whoop, I'm an idiot. Because it happens pretty frequently. I mean, it's not an uncommon thing for me. Let's continue exploring some of these houses. Maybe there will be more quests for us to have at. A savior must the vault target. Someone must bring liquidity to the market. Using big words here, lady. Making me feel a little bit offended. Since I don't know what your big words mean, I'm going to assume they're offensive. It's one of my favorite comedy bits. I forget what skit that was from. It's from a skit. Oh, that's right. It's from... It's from 40-year-old version. Using a lot of big words right now, so I'm just going to assume you're being offensive. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest line right... That is the greatest thing ever. This gentleman appears as though he has a very fine appreciation for... Well, I mean, he has an appreciation for keeping his, his back end comfortable. I mean, I was going to try and do something vaguely wordplayish right there, but then the train went off the tracks, and so I found myself in a situation where I should probably just continue onwards before I harm myself by thinking too hard. Pardon me, sir. The way up can you tell me? Looking up is silly. In this economy, we have more important worries plenty. Our poor vault might as well be empty. Ugh, gigantic vermin, how distasteful. Speaking with them is always wasteful. I bet it's this stairway that goes backwards. So I suppose the vault, both, everybody keeps talking about this vault. I think we should probably find the guy that's in charge of set, oh, salutations. Oh, that guy is awesome. If he joins my party, I'm about to be so stoked. I definitely want, look at his earring. Look how many earrings he has. He's like straight out of 1997. He knows what's up. He's ready to be in a rap metal band. You wish to reach the temple high above, presumably? I will present you with a locomotion opportunity. 
Allow me to accompany you in this venture. Yes! I believe it will pay off handsomely, both for you and for me. Lead on to the promontory. If that mouse comes near me, I shall crush him like a daisy. <laughs> his name is Robert. He's also got, I like his eye accessories. I really like the fact he's got glasses. He's an archer with glasses. I get the joke. <laughs> Hopefully he's farsighted and not nearsighted. That would be... I mean, if he's farsighted, all right, he can have glasses. But if he's nearsighted, eh, this could be a problem. I can't shoot a bow worth a damn, even though I'd love to be able to. Oh, we're about to wake up this big snoozing mountain. Aha, no bridge far and wide do I see. Oh, Magna, can you help me? I see no one near. Me neither. Where are you, dear? My stars. Dive! Run, the mountain is alive! Little visitors, do not go. Can I get you anything? I have water fresh from an ice flow. Thank you kindly, but no. Aren't you charming? Call me Magna. Magna, pleased to meet you. The temple is in the clouds we seek. Is that all? Let me shake off my dew. Oh, that's taking the wind out of me. I desperately need to rest. Something's wrong with my heart, you see. Sweetheart, truth is, I'm not at my best. Magna, we seek to go inside to access the vault of the Bulmus Populi. Yeah, that's not disturbing. Always so busy you are, Robert. Alright, take care. Goodbye. Okay, well, seeing as we've been given a locomotion opportunity by our rat-like friend over here, I think we should take a look at his ability. So he starts with rain arrows. It deals damage to all dark creatures for not very much damage. We can do hinder, which shoots a magical arrow that reduces the targeted dark creature's speed by 50% for two turns. He's got antidote, which cures the status ailments of a targeted ally. That's pretty good. So he's got some ranger-esque abilities. This is that he probably gets hinder all. Okay, and so he gets shoot all probably too. This side he's got sure shot. Increases the chance of a critical hit by 5%. Shoot an arrow at a targeted dark creature. A sure shot, 10%. Okay, so he actually doesn't get shoot all. What does this do? Double hit. Shoot an arrow at a targeted dark creature. If the target dies, a follow-up attack is then executed. That's an interesting ability that I think it might be worth kind of exploring. It's kind of one of those odd situations like in XCOM. You have the ability to take double tap or the ability that does like the same thing. And I, I usually go with double tap just because I'd rather take the guarantee over waiting for someone to be close to death. Still, simultaneously... If we take it this way, we get Antidote as a side effect, and we can check out that ability, so I think we'll go for it. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I'm not trying to be punny right now. I know he's an archer, and so that was a pun of the most horrible quality, but still. I believe... Well... Let's run in. Let's have a look. We'll at least do like another battle before we break this thing off. I'm pretty sure I'm just about out of time right now. But the unfortunate circumstance is that my timer is on my phone and it randomly just like turns itself off and it's like <laughs> It thinks doing that kind of stuff is hilarious. Entropy. You know what I mean. Robert, thank you for your generosity. This opportunity was not free entirely. A catch. You see. A queen imprisoned our accounting. Release the door of our sealed vault and news of my promotion will be sounding. Are we to be this monster's diet? Robert, why is it you live upon a giant? The populi traveling traders, we. Magna moved us from place to place. Low and high, we bought and sold at an exhilarating pace. Until the new queen Umbra came to dwell, and night to Magna fell. Excise her cobweb heart and its spinners four, and Magna will carry you to the temple's high shore. Sounds like an even deal. As every good fantasy trope goes, we end up riding an ent somewhere. I'm going to start opening these from a long ways away just in case they're booby trapped. What is this? Never have I seen metal of such putrid color. Worthless like that it is. But shaped into pins and scepters, hooks and buttons, belt buckles, and ornamented candy for kids. Kids? Of Magna, that is. You will discover that it skyrockets in value. The principle is simple. Even a weed when gilded can be sold, or a lowly bulmus raised in status kindle. The love of a fair maiden, and earn her smile bright. Little mouse, are you in love? Of course not, I'm just demonstrating my business might. God, I don't want to touch that lava flow. I've been near lava in real life, and it is really, really hot. As in, you stand within about 10, 15 feet of it, and you can actually feel your skin just burning. It feels terrible. It's awful. It really is a terrible invention. The lifeblood of the planet, but it is not friendly to the humies. It doesn't like us at all. It's over here. Anything good? Nope. 
just a little plant that's growing next to the lava flow. I've got a lava spinner in here. I'm going to see if I can grab him, and this will be our last fight. Hopefully it's not a double spider fight. Oh, balls. Double spider fight. So what we want to do here... Let's go ahead and start strong against one of them. I'm going to try and keep them from getting a turn for as long as I can. There's 120 damage off. We're going to swap out her for Finn. Finn's going to go straight for a Monsoon. Uh, we made it. And so my guess is that they're going to double haste like they always do, and we've killed one of them, so we're okay. As long as they don't double haste, we should be all right. Anytime I see double spiders, I just start screaming epithets in my head. It's all that I have. Use a little bit of our farty gas to make sure that people have enough HP to go around. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. He attacked the wrong person. I accept. Wait, who did I starlight? I was going to say, did I starlight the wrong person in my panic? That would make me feel quite manic. There we go. throw a bit of HP on everybody else and we'll just deal with him with just our normal slashes because he's not so good at Zamilis as some people would say I'm gonna put in Robert and we'll test him out for a minute he has rain arrows hinder God, just about everything he does actually has a really really long cast time oh he doesn't come default with just like a normal ability Interesting, but he does come with awesome stylish boots. Those boots are amazing. I bet he gets all the mouse ladies. Anyways, let's go ahead and heal somebody up here. Before I get off on another tangent. And I think... I don't know. Should I hinder? Reign of Arrows is an AoE from what I remember. That's probably not going to be, like, insanely helpful. I'm going to allow him to have his turn. And then... I don't know if he's quite done yet, but he's got to be getting close. It does a lot of damage, so... I suppose leaving it isn't a terrible option. And arrowed. He falls to the earth quite dead. He's actually a little bit lower level than everybody else. The extra grinding that I've done has apparently paid off. We're ahead of the storyline. Wow, Robert, where did you learn to fight? Have you been to a business meeting? This kind of combat is light. He's also got witty pros. I think that we will assign Nora. Oh, we're almost to... I think we were working towards Petrify All. Oh, man, we're nowhere near it. I mean, we might get there in time by the end of the game. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. Nobody else has any abilities? All right. Well, this is where I'm going to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Child of Light. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode, and take care out there, everybody.